So you want to make a logo, but you want to make sure it's also pixel. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to Spy Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in uh, Libra Sprite or a Sprite, either one you're in. Uh, once again, doing some pixel art. I like doing uh, pixel art stuff, and we haven't done it in a while. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna clear my my palette by just dragging that up and getting rid of all those colors there. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, grab a white color and just hit this exclamation point to add it to the palette up here. And I'm just gonna. We could do a lot of different things here, but I want to do a little bit more of a thick style logo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just draw in, uh, I'm going to do the word tuts. So I'm going to go ahead and just do something like this, and we'll offset the second line there, E to erase something. And I'll just kind of, something like this, right? So that looks a nice, that's a nice little T, right? And then I'll go ahead and do a U, um, and then I'll just, yeah, something like that maybe. And actually, this side, I want to make sure it's too thick every single wear. So then we'll just, like that, maybe, yeah, sure. Cool. And then for this, I want to make sure this is lower because I want to cut that out and put a uh, the stick for the T right here. Um, and then we'll go down on this side. Yeah, I like it. All right. Um, and then we'll cut that one away and put that there. And then go up by the two. Right. All right. Sweet. Okay. I think that's that's looking good so far. I like it. Uh, maybe. Yeah, that looks better. Okay. Sweet. Now we got to do the S, which is the last one. Of course, no matter what your word is, you're gonna want to do you know different things. And this type of uh, text topology kind of style that I'm doing right now is not gonna work for every single thing you're doing. Uh, so of course, this is just based off of the fact that I'm using the word tuts right now because this wouldn't work for every single thing. So. That looks pretty cool. And then because we have this big blank space space right here, you want to keep in mind when you're doing logos specifically that um, uh, you don't really want things to be too blank in, in specific areas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and try and see if I can fit something right here to kind of combat the blank area that we have here. So I'm going to do maybe like a little underline type of swipey thing maybe. So we'll just cut out a little bit of this space here and... All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do a border around the outside of the, the letters here. Instead of going solid black, because that doesn't look good in every situation, it might look good today, might not. Um, you know what? I think I might actually want to do that today, because maybe I'm going for a more hard style text. So I'm going to go ahead and just close in every single one of the gaps um, in our text, wherever they may be. Um, you go around the outside, so we can just go ahead and box, uh, and go ahead and uh, fill the inside of everything. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go around all the way, um, something like this, and fill all that in. I'm using my mouse right now. I I've said this before. You don't need a tablet for pixel art. You just don't. It's 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 just a thing you don't need. Now it gets easier if you're doing something like a smoke animation. It makes things a little bit easier. But for things like this, you definitely don't need a tablet. Um, I'm going to hit G to fill all that in right there, and then fill that in right there too. So now we have that, which is pretty good. The black is working working for me for this. I like the way it looks. I do not like this, though. So we'll get rid of those. Uh, that's too much for this logo in specific, I think. Uh, all right. You know what? I think I want to do something like this. We go ahead, go ahead and just pull this white piece up like that. Uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe something like this. Oh, maybe. Um, yeah, and what does the black look like if it goes around there? Maybe one thick. I, I, I want to do one thicker, like um, like this instead. So maybe I can get away with doing that, like this. And then we fall down like that, and like that. I think so. I think I'm going to pull this T out by one more, though. It's going to make it kind of uneven but can you really notice that much I don't I don't think so it may be if I pull this this T out like that and then pull this piece out like that that look better there we go so now it's even now we look good now it's uh, perfect once again there we go we can just fill that back in fill the white up and uh, get rid of those pieces I don't want anything to touch because if it touches it's gonna look a little strange like if we do something like this you know, I don't really want that to be a thing like that too. I don't want that to be a thing. It doesn't look as good. So there we go. All right. So now we can go ahead and also taper that one. Maybe the other side. So we have that. Looks looks good. Looks good. Looks good. I love it. And down there as well. Uh, now this is kind of strange right there. We'll get rid of that. There we go. There we go. That's what I want. Okay. Now we are completely finished with that. So we have this really nice kind of thick style logo here. 
where there's not much dead space. We can get rid of some of this, though, I think. Or maybe not. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. All right. Now, with the um, the rest of today's tutorial, I want to expand this 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 U as well now since we moved that over. I want everything to have just one space of black in between it. There we go. Yeah. Okay, and maybe I can... No, I can better like that. All right, sweet. Okay, so now we're done. There's a lot of a lot of finagling, a lot of you know working out with stuff uh, until you get the way you want it. All right, so uh, I want to do a little bit of shading to the text here. So I'll go ahead and now grab a bluish tint of a white here. So just something very subtle like that. Just get some shadow, and I'll hit the exclamation point to add that to the uh, palette. And I'll go ahead and just on some edges and some corners of the text here. I'll just go ahead and just put these uh, little blue areas. Okay, sweet. So, I do not think I like that being too close to each other, though, so we'll get rid of that. Okay, yeah. Alright, so, my, my buddy pals, my friends, we're pretty much done with that. What I want to do is I do want to shade the black as well. So, we'll go ahead and grab the black with the eyedrop tool, which is I, by the way, I didn't say that earlier. And then we'll just drag that up to a little bit of a lighter gray, and then we can just shade the black areas that I want to shade as well. So, all the corners, all the edges, of course... I do want to have a color, like uh, it needs needs a color. So I want to do something kind of special, make a make a color pop. So I think I'm gonna go with like a purpley, kind of like this, maybe really bright, vibrant. So we'll desaturate a little bit so it's not harsh to look at. And then I'll go ahead and just hit uh, B for the brush, and then just uh, color this in here. Maybe that piece, maybe all of these pieces. We have to we have to reshade these, but that's fine. All these pieces here. Actually, I can just go ahead and just um, box. I can just uh, hit G to, to, to fill all the stuff that's not the shading, and then we can just drop the color down, so we'll uh, darken it, desaturate it, and pull a little bit to the blue to get a more, more purple look, and then we'll just fill in all of the shading as well. So now we have this really, oops, now we have this really nice looking uh, kind of purple color there, which is nice, so now we have that, uh, that color, that pop of color that I wanted, and now we can go ahead and I to grab that original purple color and use it kind of as a backdrop hold on shift to draw lines by the way uh, have, use it as a backdrop for the um, for the back of the the logo here I'm gonna make this double wide so we'll go one more time and we'll just make sure all that's filled in and for the uh, edges of course we're gonna do something like this we'll drag it up uh, lighten it desaturate it pull a little bit more to the pink and then we can go ahead and just paint with this, maybe like a highlight right here, maybe a yellow, because purple and yellow go together very well. So we'll do the highlight of the yellow, fill that in, this, fill that in for the regular color there, and then for the darker, we'll go more to the orange. And then I kind of want to just uh, surround this in black like this. So we'll lose some of those edges there, but that's fine. Um, and I think that's going to be it for today's uh, tutorial. We can actually go ahead and just mirror this up at the top if you really want to. So we can go ahead and just add in that black, um, something like this. And then we will drop it down over here as well, uh, like that. And then we can just carry the same exact thing up here. So we'll have the yellow go maybe a little bit further on this, on this top side up here. And then we'll have a space there space right there and like that I like it and then for the shading of course we'll do the regular yellow and you can see how you can just have a really cool uh, pixel art logo done right really quickly really simply uh, we can do something like something like this and just pull it up just get an almost even solid white would probably look good there we go and maybe something like that for these and all the way in the middle. I just wanted to look really more highlighted than what it does because that yellow looks kind of dim. Um, but there we go. So that looks pretty cool. I like it. I love it so much. I hope you guys enjoy it too. We can go ahead and actually pull this out one if you want to. Uh, or I can just pull the, uh, the S in by one. Make it not as long, which looks pretty cool. And I'll just go ahead and just fill that black back in. There we go. I hope you boys and girls enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Um, but until then, Bye-bye.